Lalit, IPL has been your passion project. The league was attacked for corruption, spot fixing, teams were even banned. Do you think that IPL has now been able to do a cleanup act? It has. It has really been able to do that, and it's moving up in the right direction. I think um, with with the Gujarat Titans, the uh, first season uh, performing absolutely tremendously from scratch. I mean, that has shown that the that there is um, faith now in the game, and and there is no fixing and, and, and anymore. Today, each match has been sold for hundred and eighteen crore rupees. How much credit would you give the current dispensation for? fixing the kind of valuation that they have done? It is not them. It is the fan base that done it. I have always said every three or four years it will double. Uh, the price of IPM will continue to double. If you look at all my interviews from 2008, I said every three years you will see the value of IPL double. IPL now has become the number two league in the world. How much time do you think it will now take to become the number one? Overtake it, NFL? It will definitely overtake NFL and I will always be the number one sports league sooner than later, but it all depends on the innovation for the OTT platform, the digital rights. I mean, a lot of money has to be spent on technology, uh, on the digital platform, a viewer experience, more cameras. What is now uh, coming in the way of your coming back to India? Is it politics? No, no, no politics. I, you know, I'm very, very friendly with the, with the government. I have no problem with that. I have no cases at all. I mean, I, I'm really happy that it's taken a long time. For, for, for it to clear, the, finally my name has been cleared as for the court case is concerned. There's still the FIR in Chennai, which you're trying to get cleared off. Once they're cleared off, I will be back in India. I don't want a single lingering issue uh, of any court saying that I have, I, I have not. Even that case I have won, but they won't publish the judgment. There was a Lodha reforms that was done. The reforms came in place in 2018. Do you think Indian cricket has changed? Since I think it's changed for the, I'm looking at from a broader picture. You got to understand to do fixing also you need to be in the system for a long time and do it i'm taking the example of gunrai titans as an example they got into the fray one month before the ipl started they went on to win from day one okay that means everybody who tried to fix the game couldn't fix it mm -hmm. and so i think that uh, you know the fixing has been very rife in the past and you can see that in the results oriented but i think this year has surpassed, uh, surpassed this and I won't name any team that have done badly or not done badly and who are fixing in the past. And I think today it shows that the, the, the system has been cleaned. I think the police has also acted very firmly. There have always been talks of Indian cricket being called a cozy boys club. If you were to describe it today, how would you describe it? I was hoping that it would change, but it hasn't changed. The Supreme Court had passed a rule of nine years. I think they're finding ways and excuses to overcome that, to shove that. It's still a boys club, a cozy boys club.